<laughs> Our next topic is traditional sport athletes have an equal pay to their main counterpart. Uh, let the first speaker speak. Good morning, everyone, and then we'll opposition side. Today, we would like to debate in the topic of should women uh, athletes be paid at the same as men athletes? So, people around the world are watching athletes perform in various sports. Both male and female athletes compete at an incredible level that requires physical fitness and driving. As well, uh, as we all know, professional athletes can earn salaries reflecting their talent and ability. Regardless of gender, professional athletes are selected to receive professional wage. But today, there is no equal reward for equal work for men and women uh, athletes who have the same certificate. There is a view that male athletes are more valuable than women athletes and are good at improving themselves. In addition, women's wages are lowered by sex. A woman is human. She is not better, wiser, stronger, more intelligent, or more responsible than a man. Are female and male athletes physical different? You don't need PhD to answer that. This actually affects their performance in sport. Women have less muscle, muscle, uh, muscle in upper body compared to men. In sports such as golf or cricket, female athletes have, are less strong and powerful in upper body than their male counterparts. In, golf, in a golf competition, if a male and female golf player both wins a tournament, the male player can earn six times more than the female player. The Professional Golfer Association offers a, a female at least 50 million US dollar of prize money, far less than 256 US million dollar rewards to male athletes. In a game, women have to work harder to drive a golf ball 200 meters. A woman would need to use her 80 to 90 percent maximum force, whereas a man can uh, might use only 60 percent. So, should women at least be paid the same as men? Obviously, there are other factors factors that might influence levels of pay beyond the amount of physical energy inserted, exerted. So, it will be discussed uh, with my friends, whom uh, although many sports have moved into the 21st century and award equal prize money at major competitions, 30% of sports, including football and tennis, refuse to move forward. Lastly, I insist that women's sports at least should be paid at, as the same as men does. Thank you. Um, dear gentlemen, we as the against side strongly disagree that women at least should have the same equal pay to their male counterparts. I as the I as the first speaker stand for the point regarding differences in sports. And I very much disagree that females should have the same equal payment to male athletes. Specifically, each sport athletes get paid differently. As pay for sports should be based on the amount of income they actually make and how much the sport actually brings in. The reason women does not produce as much money as men do in some sports is because they do not generate anywhere near the revenue that men do. If women can start, start generating more money, then they will deserve to be paid more. Currently, women get paid what they deserve. Despite all allegations being made, their sports such as tennis, surfing, and figure skating, where women are actually receiving more money than men or the same equal amount. Due to my research, for sports like surfing, the World Surf League does guarantee equal price money for both male and female entrants. If that's not enough, figure skating is actually a sport dominated by women, and so pay parity made absolute sense. Um, sponsorship deals and endorsements come easy for male figure skaters, but are not quite as easy for male counterparts. And as for tennis, the woman who wins the 2019 US Open Tennis Tournament will take home a record of $3.85 million in prize money, which is exactly the same amount as they pay for the men's winner. 
as well as the Grand Slam tournaments, which have all paid equal prize money for the both genders. And it, it has been equal since the year 2007. These examples suggest that there are numerous of sports which actually are being dominated by women and have been, and have been fair to both genders. And this is being affected by many, by many factors, including sponsors, television deals, and ticket prices that have gained more money than male athletes. So I don't think that women are being treated unfairly at any cost, if you ask me. And moving on, you can't simply blame the company for not paying female athletes enough. Because isn't that quite hypocritical? Because fans and audiences are actually not paying them enough attention and are not giving them as much interest. That, that's why they're not making as enough money. So finally, that's why they're earning less. And professional athletes should be paid for them standard and not because of their gender. Thank you. So the second reason why women should get paid equally as men is because women are as capable as men in the realm of working hard by having full-time jobs on top of being a professional athlete. Women have to put as much effort and passion into training to improve and excel themselves and try to be the best version of themselves. They have the same jobs as men, but why are they not paid the same? Okay, so let's take for example the U.S. men's soccer team and the U.S. women's soccer team. In 2018, the U.S. men's soccer, national soccer team didn't even make it to the World Cup. It lost a qualifying match 2-1 to one to Trinidad and Tobago, a team that ranked 99th in the world and has only competed in the World Cup once in 2006. The gap between the U.S. men's soccer team and the women's, which has won half of the eight women's World Cup, and dominated the sports for decades. One thing that stands out to me in this debate is that women are consistently the number one ranked team in the world and the repeated world champion, and the men have not been as successful. The women's national team actually generated more revenue than the men's as well. According to new reports, $50.9 million between 2006, 2016 and 2018, compared to the men's $49 million. But why are the U.S. women's team only earning a quarter of what men earn? All of this unfairness is due to broadcasting and marketing. A 2015 study of Los Angeles-based sports news found that only 3.2% of media coverage was devoted to women's sports. To be sure, some argue that women's sports aren't aired because they are not as fun to watch. But respectfully, they need to think again. Nearly a third of major sports fans are women. And a 2018 Nielsen study found that 84% of those surveyed were interested in women's sports. If the viewers and if the viewers are there and coverage hasn't caught up, the best way to solve this is to broadcast women events more. They'll get popular soon enough once people can actually see them play. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's lovely to see you all here today. We have having a very entertaining morning with some interesting things being said that male sport players should have an equal pay to their male counterparts. We, the opposition, strongly disagree. I, as a second speaker, stand for the point regarding moral rights that gender should have nothing to do with payment. That is, everyone's payment should be based on the amount of income they produce. It's a business and should not matter or be biased to what gender they may be. As it stands today, some women's sports unfortunately brush it off at best or ridiculed at worst, causing less people to tune in and shower out cash for the events and the merchandise. With this lesser income, for some female athletes, they're given less than the male counterparts. It is absolutely unfair if you ask me, the feminist that I am. However, if you as a company have less to give out, then you do the best you can to treat them and pay them fairly. As much sexist as it sounds, it just so happens that the world 
of the reality we are currently in, audiences will male athletes match just more than they do for female athletes' games. And so it reflects that the male sports have more revenue and advertisements to direct towards the male athletes. Simply put, some female sport teams do not generate as much interest on most scales, hence they do not have resources to pull over to match pay with the male counterparts. I personally think that the market should be the one decide who gets paid how much. I don't get why we have to pin one gender against another. I'd like everyone to think about this way. Think of a field like acting. Should a low viewership TV show um, male actor be paid as much as a high viewership um, movie female actor? No. Everyone gets paid based on the market interest. So no women are better than men and no men are better than women. It's that both men and women can both develop their skills and abilities. So, no area need be reserved for one or the other. My point is simply that if you think someone is underpaid, then go watch them. Go be their fan. Go support your favorite up. They don't need sexist pity. Thank you. They are putting on the same level uh, to their gender capabilities as men and others in their own league, but does not get even the slightest amount of money that men get paid. Uh, let's take for example um, the NBA and the WNBA team. In 2000 and in 2016, uh, Faust led the WNBA in field goal percentage, finished second in rebound per game. Tied for second in blocks per game and ranked uh, fifth in points per game. Her team, the Minnesota Wings, uh, also finished with the best record in the WNBA. For all this, Faust was named a uh, league MVP. Faust was paid uh, 109,000 for all she did in 2017. Meanwhile, uh, Leonardo uh, Barbosa from the NBA is scheduled to earn 500,000 from the Phoenix Suns in. 2017 and 18. Uh, this past July, though, was worth by the team, so we uh, will be paid nearly five times what the WNBA MVP earned, and Barbosa won't even play for the Suns. According to uh, a false analysis, the NBA uh, team generated, uh, generated around uh, $5.9 billion in revenue in 2015 and 16. But uh, the WNBA team generated around $26 million. Therefore, it is not surprising that uh, the WNBA pays over salaries. That being said, uh, the WNBA players are not being treated the same as their counterparts in the NBA. And the NBA pays its pay about 50% of league revenue. It appears when we look at what we know about uh, the WNBA revenue and salaries, that the league's payers are receiving less than 25% of the revenue and that percentage appears to be shrinking over time. In other words, a significant gender wage gap exists in professional basketball and it is growing. The average salary of the WNBA payer was uh, $71,635, but the average salary of the NBA player is uh, $7.7 .7 million. The unfairness is clear and disgusting. It is important to realize that women are not asking for multi million dollar contract like men. They are just asking for fairness and they are only asking to be paid 50% of its police definitely like men. A change must happen and it must happen now. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. The next speaker speak. Unfortunately, this controversial issue is being affected by many factors in sponsorships, and income is one of them. I, as a third speaker, stand for the point for sponsorships and income. As men, certain gains tend to attract bigger crowds, therefore earning more money for the franchise. And men, certain games receive more attention than women's games because of the intensity and skills involved. It is just that if less people go see women's play, then therefore, there will be less paid accordingly. So therefore, women are paid fairly and accordingly. Sport is like a business. Like any other businesses, it needs to be profitable. And crowds and TV audiences pay the bills to make it profitable. 
simple dollars make sense. The sports stars pay should be proportional to the revenue that the sports generates. If female athletes decide desires to get paid more in sports, they might have to work out how to make that sports more appealing to the general public and one vital source of revenue sales is tickets. Next, males' athletic fields is way more competitive than females as there are more people competing against each other. A statistical data suggests that male athletes still outnumber females athletes comprising 56.6% of the total student athlete population. In 2013-14, NCAA member school fielded an average of 430 students athletes, including 243 males and 187 females. Hence, males have to work harder in order to get to the top. Lastly, should we change the focus of protesting for equal payments to actually improving females' games to help attract audiences more? Because nobody got the spotlight for free. Male athletes also have to work hard enough to be able to, rec to be recognized as well. Thank you.